Yo, what's up guys, it's Technology L back here and today in this video, I'll be showing you how can you configure the Java development kit on your Windows and get your Java files working with VS Code. So here in my VS Code, I have simply created a folder for Java and I have this file called main.java and it has a basic program to print out hello Java. But if I go to the section run Java, there's no output even if I try to run it from the terminal using the line Java then file name with the extension, it returns this error. So Java development kit is currently not installed on my PC and VS code is also giving this prompt automatically. But in case you're not getting anything as such, you can simply head up to your browser and search for JDK downloads. You'll get the first link that takes you to Oracle. Over there, simply switch to the section for Windows or you can also download as per your requirements for other operating systems and simply download the 64-bit installer. And once the download is complete, simply run the installer file. It will take a few seconds to load up. And once it's ready, you'll get a window on your screen like this. Simply hit next, next, and just let it complete with installation. And there you can see Java development kit has been successfully installed. So I'll simply hit close. And all I need to do is simply just check if the JDK has been installed successfully or not. And you can simply head up to your terminal and then simply type on the JDK version command, which says java space then two hyphens and simply type on version and there you get a result that says java 21.0.1 has been installed and this is the release date for the version so yes you're good to go now you can simply head up to your visual studio code and the same code which i was trying to execute earlier which was not working if i try to execute this time so you can see that it is importing some projects from the runtime extension. So just let it get done. It will hardly take a few minutes to get it ready. And once done, your output should be there in your terminal. Then you'll get this pop up on your screen. Simply hit allow. And there you have the output. So even if I use the terminal command line to execute the program, so it goes Java, then file name with the extension. You can see that it is giving the output correctly. So yes, that's it. That's all you need to do to get JDK installed on your PC. The JDK has been installed and it has been configured with Visual Studio Code. So that's it. You can start coding on Java now onwards. Thanks for watching.